Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, EASA issues an emergency airworthiness directive for Tamarack Atlas winglets. A pilot is safe after landing in a 60-foot tree in Idaho, and D-Day Squadron announces the beginning of their European tour. Happy Friday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. EASA has issued an emergency airworthiness directive for Cessna Citation jets, with Tamarack Active Load Alleviation System active winglets installed. According to the AD, the Atlas deflects the Tamarack Active Control Service on the outboard wings. Situations have been reported in which the Atlas appears to have malfunction, causing upset events where in some cases pilots had difficulty recovering the plane to safe flight. If not corrected, this condition can lead to loss of control of the airplane. The AD requires the Tamarack Atlas to be deactivated and the tax to be fixed in place. To read more on the requirements for this AD, just go to EASA Safety Publications website and search Atlas Winglet. When we return, a California man is reunited with something he lost during a skydive. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Welcome back. With all this news coming out of the aviation industry, it's time for today's trip around the patch. A prosthetic leg was found in a lumber yard in Coverdale, California on Monday. The leg belonged to 39-year-old Dion Calloway, who lost it while skydiving the day before. According to Calloway, he felt a rush of air go inside the prosthetic before it just flew away. Flight Safety will now offer FAA-approved IFR training in a Sikorsky S-70 Level D qualified simulator. This includes unrestricted S-70 type rating and ATP courses, as well as a pilot and command proficiency check. Lockheed Martin celebrated its new F-16 production line in Greensville, South Carolina by hosting a ceremony earlier this week. The F-16 tooling and equipment, previously in Fort Worth, Texas, has been moved to a newly refurbished hangar in Greenville, where the company will begin manufacturing the F-16 Block 70 aircraft later this year. The FAA has given their first air carrier certification to a drone company, Google's Wing Aviation. The certification allows for drone delivery of food, medicine, and other small consumer products, and has paved the way for the company to begin delivery in Blacksburg, Virginia. And that wraps up today's Around the Patch. We'll be right back with the rest of the news after these messages. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. 
based on the popular Sling 2 LSA. The Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. A 78-year-old pilot of a Piper PA-18 Super Cub escaped unharmed when his plane developed engine problems during a flight and ended up landing in a 60-foot tall tree. The pilot took off from Chalice and was planning on landing at McCall Airport when the engine began to lose power. The pilot called 911 to report he'd crashed into a tree. First responders had to use snowmobiles to reach the accident scene. Helicopters were also launched, but there were concerns the roto wash might dislodge the airplane from the tree. Eventually, a hazardous tree expert working for the fire department scaled the tree, secured the plane, and got the pilot to safety. The plane will stay in the tree until it's able to be removed using helicopters. The D-Day squadron announced the starting point for their journey to Europe over the original Blue Spruce route to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the invasion of Normandy. Aircraft will depart from the Waterbury Oxford Airport in Connecticut on May 19th. There will be a full week of activities leading up to the departure, including a special fly over the Statue of Liberty. To get a full list of upcoming events for this journey to Europe, head to ddaysquadron.org. And that wraps up this week. As always, don't forget to subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you would like real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation aerospace stories, check out aero-news.net. Have a great weekend and I'll see you Monday.